Just gonna give us a brief summary of the match from your perspective. Yeah, uh, good. Uh, it's almost evening. So good evening to the ladies and gentlemen of the media. Um, yeah, difficult game. Two good sides. Uh, uh, very dominant from from Pirates, I thought. Uh, but uh, I thought we had the better chances also. So. Congratulations to Mamelodi Sundowns Football Club. Congratulations to to everybody associated with the football club. Congratulations to the Yellow Nation. Very, very, very humbling uh, turnout from them and, and incredible support. And then congratulations to this fantastic group of players. Uh, very, very proud of them. Uh, we'll now take questions from the floor as you know uh, we've got a roving mic please raise your, uh, your hand and identify yourself as well as, well as the media company you, re you represent prior to asking your question may I just also take this opportunity to remind everybody to please put your cell phones in silent mode uh, for the duration of the presser and I'm hoping the ones <coughs> that are up front have to put on silent mode mm. do you have any questions Uh, Tim Mashola, Joseph Sports Coach. Uh, sure, congratulations teacher. to you. Um, I, I'm looking at Tish's. He scored a goal, <laughs> the only goal of the match. And there was a time when you said he's nowhere near being what he can give the club. How far do you gauge him in terms of his performances in the recent game, maybe the past three games, when you look at his uh, performances? In the <coughs> yeah, uh, thanks, Titi. No, I'm not emotional. Uh, I'm not emotional. The win is uh, is, is a good win. Uh, we still remain extremely humble, even even in victory. And uh, and 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 it's, I'm still the same. Co you watch, don't watch the goal. Watch the co contributions throughout the 90 minutes. So much to improve. The one action on the transition there, he, he, the decision making lets him down. Still. Still very young, still very young, still so much to coaching to be done. But he, but as I said, even a couple of weeks ago, offensive players have to improve by experiencing these situations and getting better. And and um, very proud of of him, very proud of uh, the team. But uh, we we still have a lot of work to do to improve. Noted. Noted. Coach, sure. Sure. Thanks. Uh, coach sold out cafe. You're bringing it to one year old first game in the PSL. Uh, what exactly does this show for Memory Sundowns and exactly how far that you guys want to go? I mean, Carl's a, a huge, huge, huge uh, stage. Of course, he's done all the DDC, but the pressure that you put him under here tonight can only get better. Uh, he can only get better. We, we, he's privileged to be playing with. Uh, some of the best players in the country on the continent for sure and uh, he gets to experience this and 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 uh, very proud of him he's doing a lot of work with us a uh, um, lot of video analysis a lot of uh, training so we have to we have to give these kids a chance you know these his his peers are playing world cup uh, you watch the world cup his peers are playing in the world cup so it, maybe uh, one or two years too late, but we have to give them an opportunity. You're never too young. Uh, I'm a, I'm a demonstration of that, and therefore I have to also give opportunities to young people, and uh, especially when they show the willingness to be coached, the talent for sure, and and uh, the work ethic. And uh, he he can only get better by learning and 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 being around some very very talented football players. Yes, uh, Coach. Sure, David. Uh, congrats on the win. Thank you, sir. Um, I think it, it had been clear uh, the changes that you had made in, in previous matches, and coming back to today, coming back uh, with your normal uh, starting eleven. You know, give us the plan. Uh, we know that you've got a jam-packed uh, program. Uh, maybe the intensity is also going to increase. Uh, how did this game help you in terms of preparing what you are going to face, especially in the next two weeks? 
Yeah, we played against a very good side. This this could easily be like a, a, an away match, Champions League away match. Uh, when we struggled in the past to keep clean sheets uh, against very good sides, today we didn't give too many chances to Pirates except on set pieces and for sure. Uh, they had some very good situations on, 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 on set pieces and they played for that also, to be honest. Uh, and I thought we had the better chances, even though they had better share of the ball. Um, and they, they were very dominant in possession, but I, th I thought we defended very, very well today. You know, We struggled a bit with the diamond on the pockets uh, in the wide areas, uh, especially where they brought Vinny in and they brought KB in. Uh, they got a bit more momentum. But we, we then solved that a little bit. We, we, with, we, we stretched the line a little bit and, uh, and the players were very, very good, very, very good to respond to that situation. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We are the only team that's played eight games in January. And so uh, that called for rotation, that called for a little bit of, uh, um, not, not really refreshing the team, but to, to give everybody an opportunity to play because we've got a big squad. And uh, the only way to keep everybody happy is to try to give minutes to, to, to everybody and they've done exceptionally well. I took huge offence to something I saw that said uh, I called players bench warmers. Uh, I don't know, I mean really. Uh, and that's why sometimes I ask myself what, what level is, 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 the, is the journalism getting to, you know, where we can easily misquote people. Because uh, I've got a squad that has incredible professionals, incredible football players that I have enormous respect for. And uh, when people disrespect the football players in this football club, I take huge offense, you know. And uh, what, a, what an incredible group and uh, not enough, I don't think, not enough respect and plaudits goes to, to, to the players from player number one to player number 36, you, you saw with Carl said today. So amazing and, and very, very proud of this, this group. Uh, yeah, so can I ask you if there is a, a, a change in mindset that comes naturally or is demanded for you when you go now, when you move now from the league into um, the Champions League and, and the Cup? Is it, do you demand a change in mindset? Is there a change in mindset? Fortunately, we, we, we attack football club, Mark, that has a, a, an incredible culture of winning football matches and regardless of who we play and where we play, we, we, we play to win. And uh, that's what we have to try to do even in the next couple of games is to do our best to win the, the, the next football match. The next football match now is, is against a very difficult side who played yesterday. Uh, and they, then they get one day advantage uh, physiologically it makes a big difference especially because of uh, this type of t a team that we played today were very difficult and so we have to now uh, recover uh, could rest uh, plenty of water uh, and then we come in for 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 video analysis and and region and and then we prepare for a difficult encounter against uh, a very good side in Richards Bay too Uh, sure, Lawrence. You always be <coughs> critical about the even of the <coughs> win. Um, and you said Pirates dominated the game, obviously, had the chances. Was that intentional from your side? And secondly, um, how do you rank the performance out of things from Sundown's perspective? Uh, was it intentional? No, we played the game the way a big game is supposed to be played. and. Uh, I was pleasantly, and I told them that at halftime I was pleasantly surprised by how well we defended. You know, normally, normally we have to have the ball to defend, um, but today we defended very, very well. Uh, we, we we didn't give. We there were no opportunities, uh, big chances rather, in open play, and um, we showed that we can play. We can play difficult games uh, and respond to the situation. And I have nothing but uh, incredible respect and uh, appreciation for this group of players. You know, and uh, uh, if if I were to rate it out of ten, not the, the 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 performance as a whole, I would I would give it a fifteen if it's allowed. I'm very very proud of this group. Very proud. Coach, Congratulations. Sure, come on. Coach, this was the fourth 
meeting between Sundowns and uh, Pirates, and this is addressing the MTN and Rifters right here now. So when you look at those um, previous games, yeah. and this one, what was different this time around? Despite the fact that you went away with the victory, I mean, we know uh, Orlando Pirates and, and Sundowns high scoring um, uh, yeah. encounter in these two meets, but what was different this time around? Today's encounter. I think Cheney makes a big difference uh, in the profile of the Bob Pirates. Uh, he, he, he gives them an extra man, and I, I understand a little bit the, 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 the anxiety that comes a little bit because it's not normal f with, with that, but I, that was the biggest difference today. Uh, it gave them very good build-up possibilities, and then they could, they could uh, build from the back, and I thought Cheney was uh, a very incredible difference in if you compare to all the other games but I also thought Ronwin was excellent today to be honest I never single out individuals because it's uh, it's always a collective effort but I thought Ronwin was superb today so if you look at the two goalkeepers I thought they were they were magnificent and uh, it always well for South African football to be honest with you uh, but we dug deep and we, we 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 put in a shift and we were we were very respectful extremely humble extremely humble and very respectful to 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 understand that we were playing against a very good side we are a very good side ourselves we showed even with the goal that we scored is uh, it comes straight from the training pitch it's not uh, it's not something we we it's straight from the training pitch and so i want to applaud the players for a magnificent um, shift and tactically being 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 so good we change formations a lot we 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 move this, we move that to try to respond to, to the situation. But this is how it's going to be when we go away to Al Ahli. We, we have to play with balls and, excuse me, but yeah, we to, <laughs> and we have to, sorry, Lady T, and we have to be, yes, yeah, sorry, uh, but we have to be, we have to be, we have to have the personality to be able to survive on, 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 on big games against very <laughs> difficult <laughs> opponents. Excuse me, I'm sorry. It's okay. I just naturally assume you're so Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know I love you. Coach, it's Kenny Sochong from News 24 Sport. Mm. Uh, not a coach to me, but coach, regardless of the success of the team, has but having won 15 matches on the ground this season. This is, if I'm not mistaken, the first time that Sundowns have beaten Chiefs and Pirates across all the matches in the season. Um, how significant is that particular small step for you? Well, sorry, I didn't know that. Um, um, and so I haven't wrapped my mind around it. Um, yeah, congratulations to the football club. It's always a collective effort. It's a team effort. It's a football club effort. So from from the ownership all the way to, to the Mutsupa family, all the way to the board, the management, uh, to the Yellow Nation, the supporters, uh, to the technical team, everybody involved, incredible contributions, and then uh, yeah, yeah, this uh, magnificent group of players that we 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 are very fortunate to to coach and to be responsible for for their talent, you know. So congratulations to everybody involved in the football club in its entirety. <coughs> um, coach, is there a new role for Kennedy? I noticed he had a earpiece mm -hmm. giving instructions. He's still a goalkeeper at the club. Yeah. He's a coach. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doubling up. He's doubling up into we, we, into a role that we we envisage for him is long term, uh, for sure. But of course, he's still uh, he's doing he's gonna be doing his coaching badges very soon. Uh, he's he's just applied for that. Uh, and and it's only that natural progression in life, you know, when you move from one one, particularly from playing, and then you've got the keen interest to be involved in in in, in coaching. And Kennedy has that. He's been an incredible servant for this football club. He's been uh, extremely incredible in South African football with incredible experience. Has won uh, Champions League, Fcon, and and so there's there's incredible benefits for the football club to to inherit. In, in a coaching capacity, and so uh, uh, maybe fast tracked a bit by the the red card for Coach Wendell for sure, 
but but uh, but uh, the universe works in, in 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 incredible ways, and God God works in incredible ways by giving people opportunities, uh, even when we deem ourselves not ready. But God says, uh, when I deem you ready and I cho I choose you, you you have to step up and 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 respond to the calling and. Uh, and he did very, very well today. So congratulations to him for winning a, a, his first match on the bench as a, as, a, as a goalkeeper coach, for sure, in the, in the interim capacity. And, and uh, we want to thank him for, for his contribution today and thank him for, for, for his assistance and the role that he played. Thanks. Coach Tsebo from ENC. Sure, Tsebo. Thank you. Following the remarkable results, Today, um, how do you coach uh, keep the players focused in all the hype around them? I'm sure they, they, they want the team to smell the titles, but how do you now make sure that the players are focused until the position is done? We, we are very scared of praise. We're very scared. We're scared of praise. We, we, we don't, we try not. And I'm the first one I've removed myself, if you see, from social media. I don't, uh, I don't want to hear much um, about the team. Uh, Shupi does an incredible job to try to keep me updated with uh, newspaper articles and, and most of them, sorry Shupi, I don't read um, because I try not to be, uh, I try not to be influenced by what is said about the team and, and, and then that allows us to, to to keep our feet on the ground, I said to you, and I and I, and I said to you, is praise is like uh, being fed honey uh, with a knife, the sweetness and that. So we're very afraid of praise, and we try to stay far away from it. Yes, sir. Looking at the lead, 24 points clear, and mathematically, one can safely say that the lead is in the back. I can tell you, one of the peers of coaches yesterday steadfastly said that the Sundown is one lead. So now I want to hear from you. Is the lead in the back? Hmm. What can you expect? Incredible build up to the, to the <laughs> question. Be beautiful. Uh, no, because it's not. You know, I wish it was, but we've got so much work to do. We've got so many teams to play. Is uh, what is this twenty? What is this twenty one? Shoops. <laughs> no. What is it twenty one? Yeah, twenty one games. Uh, there's nine more to play. We have to respect every opponent. Uh, it's going to be difficult to. And the same way we've played the 21 games with respecting all 21 fixtures, we have to respect the, the remaining nine, nine games with uh, the same diligence and professionalism and, and give it the same respect. So we, keep, we just keep going and uh, next game and next game and with the same concentration and respect. We'll take the final two questions that you want to claim. Coach, yes. Magically, you are able to reach 80 points. Is that a target for the moment to Sundowns now that you need a good momentum? No, the target is to win the next game. Uh, we try to win the next game. We have to go now to Riches Bay. Uh, we put the league schedule a little bit on pause because uh, after that is is uh, three very important Champions League games. Uh, so, so the target and, and, and the focus is to win the next match, for sure. Final question. Coach, um, you have a question. Coach, I look at three second-off performances, Super Sports United, KZ Chiefs, yeah. and Pirates. It seems like there's a massive drop-off from your side when it comes to, to the second-off, you relinquish a lot of position. Is that becoming a concern for your side, especially when you're looking at uh, going into CAF Champions League football now, do you feel as if teams or the continent might not allow you enough grace to go victorious with just the one lead? Are you worried about not being able to kill off games in the second half? No, 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 no. Tough games, the, the ones you speak about, 
but it's it's incredible you don't speak about TS Galaxy. It's not it's not that it's, it's Kukune is not the picture. So if it was a reoccurring pattern I would have concerns but for sure it's not it's, it's not a reoccurring theme. So uh, and and I don't I don't want to talk too much about the performance today. I, I, I think the players need to be congratulated and praised for an incredible uh, victory against an incredible side and putting in an incredible shift uh, at a very difficult field, very difficult to come here, very difficult. And the team had very good momentum, the opposition with uh, winning games. And, uh, and, and uh, it's just for me, it's just hats off to this incredible group of players. And that's, that's my focus for tonight.